Amid tensions between Taiwan and China, Taiwan is now slated to buy as many as 400 land-launched harpoon missiles intended to repel a potential Chinese invasion, completing a deal that Congress approved back in 2020. A contract with Boeing that the U.S. Naval Air Systems Command issued on Taiwan's behalf marks the first time the island will get the mobile land-launched version missiles. This deal comes as the United States and China tensions intensify, particularly over Taiwan, the self-governed island that China claims as a part of its territory. On the broadcast with us now, Wing Commander Bakshi also with us, Mr. Shivasam, international affairs expert. Uh, Wing Commander Bakshi, sir, what do you make of, uh, um, you know, this latest anti-ship uh, missile um, via land, the delivery of uh, which is going to be taking place, uh, the United States is going to be delivering these to Taiwan. Um, what do you make, sir, of these anti-ship missiles um, that, the, that, that, that Taiwan is all set to get? Uh, absolutely correct. Uh, you have, uh, this is a very pertinent question because uh, Taiwan is surrounded by uh, the, the ships of China, which very close. The Chinese Navy is the biggest in the world, and, and Taiwan is being threatened. So from land, if they have to protect, they have to have an anti-ship fighting system. Yes, they can be launched from air also, but they can be launched from land also. And when they are launched from land, you can actually change their position permanently. You can store them permanently. Uh, that is there. You can launch it from aircraft carrier also. There's no doubt about it. But the question is, Taiwan does not have so much of uh, weapon platforms to launch. So America is providing, as you see, this uh, again is a fight on um, basic, basically is a political fight, an international political fight, where America is supporting Taiwan, though it is policy is one China policy, but yet it is supporting Taiwan. And Taiwan does not want to come under the hegemony of China. China does not want the you know, America and other countries uh, presence in that area, it feels threatened. So China is trying to blockade Taiwan in various ways, conducting exercises, etc. So Taiwan, constantly under fear, is being supplied by uh, harpoon missiles. It will get more missiles. In fact, other missiles also will get, um, they have been talks about giving them a class of exhausted missile and uh, the, the, uh, Tomahawk uh, cruise missiles, etc. They have talked about it. And I think uh, Taiwan has already got them. So these weapon uh, platforms will increase. The China, Taiwan will be made strong as the war. And I am only afraid that if this becomes slightly more serious, then we'll have another Ukraine out at this side of the South China Sea. So this should be avoided. All the peace loving countries must now try to uh, reason it out with China and America that there are other methods of um, solving this problem uh, rather than uh, total militarization. But then militarization is continuing. Quad is there. India is part of the Quad. They are thinking of militarization of Quad. AUKUS has come up. All this China knows is against it. So when the atmosphere is so vitiated, it is so aggressive, then if they are talking of peace like doves, it, it is not going to work very much. And as you have little, heard latest, uh, how the uh, uh, Asia Pacific uh, strategic area, Indo Pacific strategic area is coming up. So, this China is worried and Taiwan is worried. That's why Taiwan is being armed and we have to watch. You'll, keep, you'll see a lot of violations of airspace taking place, blockades taking place, counter exercises by America and South Korea probably will take place. And then other, other countries will come in support of China. China is not alone in this game, also, let's face it. So, China has also got supporters. So let us now look for reasoning. Let us hope countries, peace-loving countries, step in and try to simmer down this tension. All right, Mr. Shivasa, if I could also rope you in here, sir. Um, how do you think that China is now going to be viewing actions that are taking place as far as Taiwan is concerned, especially given the fact that the United States, um, you know, is now going to be uh, providing these uh, missiles to Taiwan? Well, you know, Pahili, uh, I think uh, China will continue posing you know, very aggressively against Taiwan, that is for sure. And uh, uh, Taiwan has no other option but to continuously enhance its position of strength, its defense posture vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, China. China is a country uh, which knows the language of power and uh, democratic countries of the world, including India, 
we are all realizing that uh, china can be uh, dealt only from the position of strength and that is precisely what democracy uh, democratic countries are doing india is doing we have enhanced our you know various uh, military uh, uh, you know deployments in uh, in uh, lse and the same kind of a thing is being done by united states of america in the indo pacific region united states of america is shifting its deployments uh, from atlantic even to uh, pacific ocean and uh, <clears throat> obviously us knows that china can be dealt only from the position of western and uh, uh, taiwan one lesson uh, taiwan if they have learned from ukrainian crisis is that you know if uh, any war uh, breaks out in taiwan it will be the uh, taiwanese soldiers who will be on the front line they will have to fight this you know uh, war on the front and uh, and that is uh, a realization uh, which taiwanese leadership and the taiwanese let in time military establishment they are having and that is why they are preparing hard uh, to def to defend themselves against any such you know any, any uh, uh, chinese aggression and the uh, uh, and the united states of america and its uh, might is very much solidly uh, behind uh, taiwan they are uh, united states of america is committed to help taiwan Uh, under the uh, under the US Taiwan Relations Act 1979 they have also you know another act taipei act during the president trumps uh, uh, time uh, uh, so uh, united states of america's commitment to our taiwan is very much you know uh, continuing and it will grow you know uh, the more chinese in you know, aggression uh, grows visa uh, uh, with taiwan uh, you will see united states of america coming even closer to uh, taiwan and there might come a situation when uh, when united states of america Uh, will uh, review its uh, one china policy uh, so, so far united states of america's policy towards taiwan has been of strategic ambiguity but the more chinese you know aggression grows towards taiwan america could lead uh, could uh, could uh, move towards more strategic clarity and there might come a situation that uh, they might recognize taiwan as an independent state so i think united states of america is not going to accept any kind of uh, you know uh, uh, chinese aggression against uh, uh, taiwan and, uh, and not uh, not only america but the other democratic countries will also not accept and they will uh, continue supporting taiwan because you know pavidi one thing I'll, one point i would like to make here uh, uh, again that uh, you know if china succeeds in you know taking over taiwan by force then chinese uh, will go ahead for their other false territorial claims they will go ahead for the south china uh, sea claims which they claim about 90% of it and also they will go for shinkaku island uh, they, they, it it may have a serious implications for our india china border areas so chinese aggression on, against taiwan will lead to a lot of other problems china will go ahead to disturb the democratic rules based order of the indo pacific region which will be unacceptable for any democratic countries of the world and that is why in my assessment the response of the democratic countries of the world uh with regard to you know any chinese aggression against taiwan could be different from the ukrainian response it could be more direct response that's what the indication president biden had given and other democracies i am sure that they will come even closer to taiwan uh the more chinese becomes uh, aggressive uh, towards it so i think uh, it's a, it's a, it's imperative for taiwan to enhance its uh, you know defense posture its defense preparedness but also it is imperative for taiwan to have a closer coordination and and understanding with the other democratic countries uh, of the world obviously they are having a uh, side win win to united states of america and other places and obviously they are collaborating hard with the democratic countries of the world china is not easy for china to attack on taiwan and occupy it i think china will have to face you know severe repercussions in that case i think china knows about it and i think it's very important for the democratic countries in and uh, taiwan itself uh, to continue posing hard continue preparing their defense posture position of strength visa with china that's what my you know assessment is all right mr shivastav as well as wing commander bakshi really appreciate you gentlemen for joining us on the broadcast and giving us your analysis of uh, news that is making headlines across the world for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon